If you need to transfer any file into your iPad, you will need iTunes. I am really not a big fan of iTunes because it is very cumbersome. Let me leave it there without going into any vulgar details. Nevertheless, there are many ways to move files, especially movie files, into your iPad. But this, by far, is the most easiest. Say for example, if you have an MP4 file, a movie file, that you need to move into your iPad. First, let's go to your iPad here. In your iPad, launch App Store. In the App Store, look for VLC. And this is what you get for an icon. VLC is still supported on an older model of iPad, so that's why I like this player a lot. So once you download VLC Media Player, open it. Once you open, this is the screen you get. Click on Network here, right here at the bottom, and you'll be given this menu. Turn this Share via Wi-Fi on, and once that's done, they'll give you an IP address here. They'll also give you a URL. We'll be using IP address here. It normally goes like HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.50.49. Your IP address might be a bit different, but that is my IP address. So next thing you're gonna do, let's go back to my computer and open a browser. On the browser, you're gonna type the same IP address. You don't have to put the HTTP. So go 192.168.50.49. That's my IP address that was shown on the VLC media player. Hit enter. You'll be given this kind of web page. All you have to do now to transfer this file into your iPad would be to drag this, click and drag it, and drop it on drop files full area here, just like that. And you can see a progress bar will come in, and soon it will show 100% once it's completed. So this indicates that your MP4 file has been transferred into your iPad. Let's uh, go back to my iPad here again. Now this time around, click on video. You'll see that you have a new video on your VLC player and you can see that the video is there. To play the video, just click on it. It might take a bit to load sometimes. And there you have it. 